Welcome to Beneath the Surface presented by Rockwell. This episode, we're here in Taranto, CLGP's first ever Italian venue. Coming up, we explore Taranto's ambitious regeneration project. Twins face off in our Extreme Pizza Challenge and you can win some Denmark's LGP team gear. The Sail Grand Prix in Taranto is the first time that Sail GP has ever been to Italy and what a perfect spot for racing. Now you probably know a bit about Italy but Taranto may be a new destination on your radar. Well, not to worry, here's everything you need to know about Sail GP's latest venue in 60 seconds and it all starts here at the Castle San Angelo. This is one of the city's most popular attractions and it's also an icon of Taranto's amazing heritage. This city was founded by the Spartans, in fact it's the only place in the world with a Spartans museum and this castle dates back over a thousand years. Taranto is known as a city of two seas and due to its location sailing is a really important part of both its past and its present. It even has a monument to sailors and to sailing. Today, it's a world-class water sports destination. With a great climate and crystal clear waters, if you love marine life and wildlife, this is the place for you. There are wild dolphins just off the coast, there are flamingos in this area, and if you look closely, you might just spot the odd mermaid. Wow. Grazie. There you go. Well, what trip to Italy would be complete without testing out all the local delicacies? Great food, delicious wine, some real Italian gelato and lots and lots of coffee. That was Taranto in 60 seconds. Hey guys, Katja here from the Danish LGP team. You have the opportunity to win some awesome sailing gear from us and uh, all you have to do is watch the video and then count how many times this boat appears on the screen. Comment in on the video and then uh, we'll pick a winner. Good luck! One of many reasons why cities like Taranto want to host events such as CellGP is that they give them a different kind of opportunity and platform to accelerate change. Taranto is one of southern Italy's oldest cities and it's undergoing an extensive urban regeneration programme. So we've come to the City Hall to find out how Taranto is trying to reinvent itself. You know Taranto is an important town in southern Italy in terms of uh, economics, uh, logistics, uh, infrastructures uh, and, and other matters. But after a lot of uh, strange choices in the second half of the 20th century, it gave us uh, um, a, a model of development uh, strictly connected with the EV industry. The same EV industry, in particular the steel plant, the environment, the pollution to the health of people, uh, uh, that kind of job and the industry gave to, to the, the young people. Uh, above all, um, the impression that uh, uh, there's no future on this, on this territory, in Taranto in particular. And um, after uh, the last three, four years, a lot of citizens uh, started to ask to the local administration to change that model of de development and in particular ask it, uh, uh, to the local administrators to uh, choice every day in their actions, uh, Sail GP, the Mediterranean Games, the Italian capital of culture, a uh, lot of events that can change the image of this, uh, this town, this community, o of course with the outlook to reach uh, the Euro new European policy of the next generation EU and the European Green New Deal. This is the fight for Taranto today. If Taranto changed this paradigm, all the other uh, complicated territories in the southern Italy can make the same transition. The mayor has laid bare Taranto's past and the challenges it faces. But what about the future? I'm off to meet Simone, an urban regeneration consultant, to find out how the city is making changes. The city of Taranto is uh, investing um, large amounts of resources into the regeneration of its historic city centre, uh, which was literally abandoned a few decades ago. And it's part of a broader strategy to give the city, the whole city, a new development perspective. It's an opportunity for sustainable tourism as a future source of wealth, jobs uh, and development opportunities in general. 
How important is it to build sustainability and a sustainable vision into the DNA of the new Taranto? The, the city administration of Taranto has always perceived it as its duty. It's clearly perceivable. I mean, this city has suffered quite a lot from uh, a certain type of development that was imposed. The type of development that Taranto has embarked now is very much driven by the will of its people to turn page. Well, how important are, are events like SailGP? I think they're very, very important. Very much uh, instrumental to raising awareness and raising not just awareness, but maybe enthusiasm. What are some of the things that, that practically that have taken place in, in Taranto? One of the main things that we've tackled is uh, the regeneration of uh, public space. We're going to be working on the revamping of a number of buildings, very sort of iconic buildings, historical landmarks. The regeneration also consists of uh, um, providing new opportunity for local residents and bringing in uh, new residents and a mix of functions, new ideas, creative inputs. That's what regeneration means for us and that's uh, our vision for the Città Vecchia. That's what we call the old town of Taranto. Can we go and take a look? Obviously. Joining us on our walk is city councillor and architect Ubaldo Ocinegro, who will be integral to making these plans a reality. So this is the heart of the old city and tell us about the big plans you have for this building. This is Palazzo Troilo and uh, uh, there will be a, one of the biggest uh, cultural hub of the city. The social uh, innovation hub uh, and uh, the co-working from there and then will be an exposition hall from, uh, uh, for uh, contemporary art, for uh, exhibition. Yes, for me it's a big challenge because I, I'm an architect, I love this uh, place and uh, I want to see the transformation of, of my city. Yes, for us it's a very big challenge to transform this city from the, an industrial city to a sustainable city. Then we want to preserve all this beauty because uh, it's uh, one of the most uh, uh, important city in the south of Italy. We created the street arts project in this uh, part of the city and in the neighborhood of the city. And this is a very important project to mix the ancient heritage of the city and the new kind of art. Sale GP event uh, or uh, the street art uh, of a lot uh, of uh, other projects we are uh, working on uh, want to break uh, uh, with the past and uh, want to demonstrate to the world that Taranto can uh, do something good and uh, can improve his uh, uh, name in the world. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Beneath the Surface. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The Rockwell athletes in SailGP are used to racing at super fast speeds in epic conditions. But we want to test how extreme they really are off the water. So, in Taranto, we've set them a little challenge with an Italian twist and we've got these two involved. As grinders on board the Danish boat, the Rosendahl twins have some of the biggest lungs in sail GP, and the biggest appetites too. Today's challenge, making pizza, extreme style, in 45 seconds. And here to judge them, Uncle Jack, a true artiste, and one of the finest pizza makers in Southern Italy. First of all, it's a great, great opportunity to have Uncle Jack here and, and show us how to make the pizza. Between me and Lars, there's always, always a very competitive mindset, so uh, of course it's gonna be, gonna be fun. Actually, I don't want to say anything right now. I'm uh, getting in the zone, so I just leave it as it is and let, let the future show. The theme of today's challenge is heat. Fun fact, Stonewall can withstand temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Today's pizzas are only cooked at half that, so we've added some secret spicy ingredients to bump up the heat. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. 
Dai, dai. Giù, 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 giù. Bravo, giù, giù, bravo. Fantastico. <laughs> ok, cheese. Spicy. A lot of spice here. <laughs> Basilicum here. Get a more spicy. A little bit of oil here. Hot sauce. Let's some touches. Cheese bread. Quattro. Tre. Due. Uno. Stop. I think mine is best. Mine is a little smaller. Bye. <laughs> Well, the twins seem pretty happy, but let's see what Uncle Jack has to say. I think I think the crust, if you take the if like I look at pizza different, right? The crust is a big factor of it. Lars has no crust, I had a lot of crust. So in that way I won. For sure we will take this success into the race in uh, Toronto. Don't forget to dig in, guys. It's good. It's Woo! Good. Mm. All right. Little hug. Ah. Woo! Ah. It's more picante. Diablo. It's spicy. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I think it's time to go racing here in Taranto. I hope you've been counting the boats on screen so that you can enter our competition to win some great Denmark LGP team gear. And don't forget to tune into all the action from the first ever Italy Sail Grand Prix here in Taranto. See you next time. And the Danish sneak round the mark oh, no in fifth place. Ahead. This is the kind of start that took him to so many fleet wins. Three, two, two, one, two, one, two, this is the battle for the final Three. unfolding before us. Look at him dive inside oh, that vessel. This is tight as we come towards the finish. On his time, on his time. Through the line and the Kiwis, it's tight at the top here. Watching out for the Spanish, no forcing his way in there. Oh. Oh.